Welcome to ECLIMU, Learning Simplified, and welcome to this lesson. In the previous lesson, we have discussed how a simple cell utilizes the idea of a chemical reaction to produce electrical energy. And we said if we have a cell or a simple cell of copper and zinc as the electrons and the dilute sulfuric acid as the electrolyte, then zinc will react with the acid to produce a zinc ions, cut ions, plus two electrons. And then the two electrons which are produced will react with the two hydrogen ions which are produced or are produced from the acid to, to generate what we call hydrogen gas. And this hydrogen gas, we said it will be formed at the copper electrode. Now, this hydrogen gas is going to insulate or to make this copper electrode to stop conducting electricity because it will cover the surface of that electrode. Again, the zinc which is reacting with the acid is going to be eaten or it will be corroded by this acid and therefore after some time the zinc will be depleted. Again, hydrogen will be insulating the copper Erection, and in that process, the bulb will go off after some time. So that's what we are going to discuss in this process or in this uh, video, the defects of a simple cell and how we can correct them. By the end of this lesson, I expect you to be able to explain a defect of a simple cell which we call polarization and how we can correct it. Then finally discuss the local action as a defect on a simple cell. And then finally discuss the methods of correcting the two defects of a simple cell. So we have two defects of a simple cell. And these two are polarization and local action. And in local action is a defect which I've just said, which is caused at the anode where the electrons which have been lost from the zinc electrode will be gained by the hydrogen from the acid to produce to produce hydrogen gas now this hydrogen gas insulates the copper electrode and in that case we will have what we call uh, polarization as a defect so polarization is just an insulation of the anode which is the copper wire which will prevent electrons from flowing the local action in this case is takes place at the cathode where the zinc is going to react with the acid and in the process it will be corroded or it will be eaten up and in that process it will produce two electrons. So in this case this is the reaction or this is the equation for, for local action and in this case we want to realize that local action takes place because zinc when it is mined, it's not pure. It has what we call some ion impurities and some sulfur impurities. That the ion and the sulfur are the one which react. So that they are the one which makes it to be depleted very fast. And we're going to see how we can correct that. So the first defect of a simple cell is polarization. And this is the formation of hydrogen gas bubbles around the copper plate, just as we have discussed. So in this case, when hydrogen from the acid, the two hydrogen ions, react with the electrons which flew or which it fl had flown from the zinc electrode, they will produce a uh, hydrogen gas. And this hydrogen gas now will circle or will surround the copper electrode. And now it will cause an insulation. As you can see on this diagram, this is the hydrogen bubbles which are surrounding the copper. So henceforth, there will be no interaction between the electrons which will be coming from this side. The electrons which will be coming will not get a direct link to the copper electron. Now, this causes an insulation and the overall effect increases the internal resistance. It will increase the resistance. The resistance means it will decrease the flow of current in this circuit. So after some time, the bulb will go off. It will go off because the hydrogen which is produced causes an insulation at the copper wire. It causes just like an insulator, a normal insulator. Now we are going to see how to correct this problem. 
So we have a way in which we can correct the defect which we call polarization. And polarization can be uh, corrected using what we call a depolarizer. A depolarizer is a substance which can produce oxygen gas easily, or we can call it an oxidizing agent. From your chemistry, you know that. So a depolarizer is going to correct this problem in a way. Remember, our problem is this one. Hydrogen, which is coming from the acid, reacting with the two electrons coming from the copper electrode or from the zinc electrode to produce hydrogen gas. Now this gas is the, our problem. This gas is our problem. Now when we bring a depolarizer, a substance which gives oxygen easily, and remember, oxygen has high affinity to react. So in this case, what will happen, the two hydrogen ions which are coming from the acid, they are going to react with oxygen instead of the electrons. So they are going to react with oxygen, which is a gas, and in the process they will produce water. When they produce water, water is a liquid, it will mix up with the solution and therefore the electrons which were to react with the hydrogen will be flowing in that solution and the problem would have been solved. So for you to solve polarization as a defect of a simple cell, you introduce a depolarizer. A depolarizer is any oxidizing agent. Like in this case, you can use potassium dichromate 7 or dichromate 6. You can use potassium manganate 7, you can use potassium manganate 4, you can use any, or manganese 4 oxide, you can use any oxidizing agent, a substance that can give out uh, oxygen, that oxygen will react with the hydrogen ions instead of reacting with the two electrons, and in the process, water will be produced instead of the hydrogen gas which is produced. So the first equation is here is our defect, and this is the correction. This is the correction of that defect. Water is produced, water cannot cut the copper electron, and therefore the defect will be solved. Another way in which you can solve this defect is that you remove the copper plate from the solution, then you brush off the gas bubbles. But you remember if you do that, then your process will stop first before you proceed later. So the second defect of a simple cell is local action. And local action, as we have said, is a defect which is caused when zinc plate, which is the cathode in this case, is depleted or eaten. Eaten is a just a language which we use to, to mean that it is being depleted or corroded as it reacts with the sulfuric 6 acid. So in this case, we can write the equation for the defect here. This is the defect. This is our defect. Zinc is reacting with the acid to produce a zinc ion. It's going to lose electrons. So these electrons, which are going to be lost, it will be corroded in the process or depleted in the process. Now, the reason why this happens is because zinc has impurities. The reason, reasons, reasons for zinc being depleted, zinc being depleted. Zinc is, should never be depleted. If zinc is pure, it can never be depleted. So it means zinc is impure. Impure zinc. Now this zinc, impure zinc has two main impurities. We have iron, iron impurities. Then we have a sulfur. We have sulfur impurities. Now this one, I hope you have discussed them in chemistry, the last topic of form one, that is hydrogen and its compounds. So these impurities are the one which make local action to take place. Now we are going to see how can we solve local action. So we are going to solve local action as a defect by using pure zinc because we have seen the local action takes place because zinc has iron and, and uh, sulfur impurities and it is the iron and the sulfur which react with the acid and then makes the zinc to be depleted. So for us to solve that, then we use pure zinc. In that case, you would have solved your problem. But if you don't have pure zinc, then you can take the zinc that you have, which is impure, then you coat, you coat, you cover it with what we call mercury. 
if you have your zinc metal like this one then you will come up with mercury you will come with mercury and cover it in what we call amalgamation i hope you discuss the amalgamation as a process of preventing rusting in your chemistry from one air and compassion so if you bring this zinc this zinc then you cover it with amalgam that is mercury remember mercury we call it amalgam then in that case you will be able to do or to perform your experiment of a simple cell or to run your simple cell to the end without the bulb going off because the reason why we use mercury is because mercury is also a good conductor of electricity so in this case we would have solved your problem of local action as a defect of a simple cell so we have discussed two defects of a simple cell we have local action which is caused by zinc being eaten away or depleted when it reacts with the acid and then you can solve it by using amalgam or amalgamation process or you can use pure zinc we have also discussed polarization where we have said it's caused when the hydrogen from the acid react with the electrons to produce hydrogen gas which causes the part or the, the outer part of the copper electron to solve that you introduce a depolarizer that is any oxidizing agent an oxidizing agent it means a substance which will give out oxygen so now instead of the the hydrogen ions reacting with the electrons they are going to react with the oxygen to produce water and in that case the electrons will be flowing easily and the insulation will be uh, uh, accounted for so that marks the end of our lesson today in the next lesson we will discuss the dry cell and the leakage cell